Spurge here with Revzilla, and I am checking in again from my basement garage where I've had no shortage of projects to work on. Uh, we had a rainy weekend here, so I spent most of the weekend working on my KTM 1090 Adventure R. My 350 is up in the lift right now. Uh, my workbench behind me is absolutely destroyed because I have a, a guitar restoration project that I'm that I'm working on, and uh, based on the comments that I've been reading, it sounds like there's a lot of folks out there that have had no shortage of projects to work on as well. There's a lot of people out there that are still getting to ride motorcycles, and if I could really kind of pull one theme out of uh, out of all the uh, the different comments that have been left for us, it seems like there are a lot of folks that uh, are still ordering products and getting products delivered to their house. So I do want to start off by taking a second and just say thank you to all the men and women that are working in the distribution centers to make sure that everything is still shipping out on time. And that goes for Revzilla, Komodo, and beyond. Every time you click that little button and toilet paper shows up to your front door, there is someone out there on the front lines that's making that happen. So thank you to, to everyone out there that, that is pitching and that doesn't have the, the benefit of working from home. And I do wanna give a special shout out to, to Joe Petrie in the Philadelphia Fulfillment Center. We were shooting a project last Friday for my house and one of the parts didn't show up and we needed it to make the to make the video to, to finish it out. And uh, Joe stopped what he's doing. He's incredibly busy and he helped us get that, that part, that product. So thank you so much to Joe Petrie for helping us continue to put out great content for you guys to consume. And there is a ton of great content coming out. Um, if you have not seen it on YouTube, on Saturday, we just, uh, we just launched the new I Rode Today bike giveaway. Um, there is gonna be a video, there is a video on YouTube for that, so you can check that out. Make sure you enter your chance to win. We are giving away your choice of a Yamaha MT-03 R3. You're then gonna get to go to Yamaha Champion School, and we're gonna give away a ton of free gear with that too. So that is gonna be the newest giveaway uh, that we have rolling out, so make sure you, you enter to win for your chance there. Also, if you haven't seen it, Ari Henning and Zach Quartz have released their first video for YouTube. That was super exciting. Make sure you check that out. And then we have the Tiger 900 bike review, which is going to be coming out uh, this weekend. So last weekend, I actually, I misspoke a little bit and I kind of flip flopped my dates. So this Saturday, that's April 4th, the Tiger 900 review from Morocco will be launching. Really cool, fun piece. So I hope you guys get a chance to check that out but then the high side, low side episode is actually gonna be coming out next Wednesday. Now, that's the high side, low side episode with Zach Quartz, with Joe Zito, myself, and we're talking about bikes sub $3,000. So wherever you get your podcast on Wednesday, just type in Revzilla and check out the newest episode of high side, low side. The video component of that will then actually launch the following Saturday. Um, so you, uh, if you like to watch the, the three of us sitting on the couch on YouTube, that will come out, I believe, April 11th, the following Saturday. So we do have a bunch of other stuff that's still in production too. So Joe Zito's out right now doing a Harley Sportster exhaust comparison. Uh, he's gonna walk you through which exhaust he chose for that. And then the, the main portion of the video will come a little bit later. Brandon is actually out doing some product reviews on motorcycle, uh, which I'm actually really excited to, to see. And then Ari and Zach are putting into production their first major project with Revzilla in the coming weeks. So getting a chance to see some of that come together and be in some of those meetings has been really exciting. So I think you're really gonna like what those two have in store for you in the, uh, in the future. There's a lot of really fun stuff happening now uh, on the video side of things. And then for the common tread side, on the written side, there is no shortage of motorcycle content. So last week, Ari attended a, uh, a digital press release for the new Ducati Street Fighter. There's an article up there. Uh, Zach wrote an article about the RM80, one of the bikes that really changed and defined his life. Uh, then we had just yesterday, Andy Greaser uh, wrote a, an announcement for the new KTM 890 uh, Duke, which is actually coming out earlier than expected. And then today we have a really special article up on Common Tread for you. You need to check it out. We have a whole new line of Common Tread products that we are launching. So if you don't already subscribe to Common Tread, you should probably do so. There's a lot of fun content coming out every day. Uh, if you're watching this on YouTube, we'll do our best to throw some links in the product description below to make it a little bit easier for you. And then on social media, we'll try our best to do the little little link in bio section there as well. So you can uh, easily navigate over, but you know, making sure you subscribe to YouTube, make sure you subscribe to uh, to Common Tread so you can keep up with all the content that we do have we do have rolling out. So I just want to say, you know, thank you to all of those of you out there that are still consuming the content. Um, if you do have comments, questions, you know, 
keep in mind, our gear geeks are still available. They are working from home. So if you have any questions about you know, some product or some apparel, you can always reach out to them or throw in the comment section below. We're reading all the comments. Uh, there's Dragon Z Gaming, I believe was your name. He actually threw a comment down below um, with some questions about a Honda Shadow that wouldn't start. And Joe Zito, who actually used to own a Honda Shadow, jumped in and helped him diagnose some, some potential carburetor issues. So again, Whatever you're using that comment section for, you know, if you just want to say hi, we're reading it. If you actually have some more technical questions, you can throw it in below as well. We'll do our best to uh, to monitor all the different channels to make sure that we're uh, we're giving you whatever it is that you need. And right now, the uh, the thing that we're going to give you, we're going to end with, is a quick teaser to this coming weekend's Tiger 900 review. I'm Spurge. Enjoy the ride.